to see my committee. script writer. Now what this meant is that for Wednesday Wire and all of our documentaries, I sat and I wrote our scripts. This included pouring over our calendar every single week before we filmed on Thursdays for Wednesday Wire to make sure that we knew what we were going over and as script supervisor I was making sure that what we did last week didn't contradict what we were doing this week. I was also our co-host of Wednesday Wire. That meant you saw my lovely face on this very projector every morning on Wednesdays. Good afternoon, EK. My name's John Del Bacchu. I was also one of the co-hosts for Wednesday Wire. As Freya said, it was basically the opposite thing we're doing right now. You just saw my face on the projector, and now I'm here, live. But outside of Wednesday Wire, I did some of the filming outside of it. This is, I was a photographer. Basically, I got in your face with a camera and recorded all the events. Well, not all of them, but I helped record some of the events that were happening. For example, picture day, you might have seen me walking around with a camera recording the people who were taking pictures of you. I know, confusing. <laughs> My name is Sean Tashinsky, and I was the director for Wednesday Wire. Every Thursday, we would go out to film, and I would make sure that they would cover everything they needed to. And I also edited every Wednesday Wire with Adrian. Hello, my name is Adrian Pedroza Mangoza. I'm also one of the editors 
And what I do as an editor is that after Sean gives me the outline of Wednesday Wire, he'll share it to me through Google Classroom, I mean, <laughs> Google Drive. So then I'll take it, I add more, more footage that we all take in over time, during events, footage, anything, it's all in there. I also put in visual effects, motion, anything to, anything that seems pleasing to the eye, and sometimes color correct every now and then. I'm also the cinematographer. I control the camera every now and then. I put in the camera, set it up. I, I see what needs to be focused and what needs to be lighted up for our green screen that we use. Though I, I don't do it as often, I do get help from Mr. Krolak. Thank you. Uh, it, was, it was a nice experience to have. And as well as being a cinematographer, I'm also the photographer. And it's kind of the same process, but instead of taking or instead of recording everything in motion pictures, I just take everything in stills, and those photos will be shared with our classroom, classmates and the ad administration for, for the social media. My name is Julian Molina. I am the field host, which means that I was at mostly all the events trying to like get everything that's out of studio. I was also the interviewer, so I went to the events and interviewed people to see if they were enjoying it. And I was also co-host. I appeared in some of the Wednesday Wires as Julian Time. Now, at the beginning of the year, we were told to make a mission statement. This is basically a summary of what our committee was all about. And we wanted to be, mean something, so we thought, in our everlasting pursuit of knowledge, we will spread interest and information to the secondary uh, community and involve said community in committee activities while giving them a voice through videos such as Wednesday Wire and other forms of media content. Well, what this basically means is that Wednesday Wire, it wasn't for us, it was for you. You start a club, you tell us about the club, and we'll advertise it to the entire school. There have been many times where a club starts and it gets no backing because no one knew it existed in the first place. And so we just wanted to give everyone a chance to be known. The accomplishments. Wow! <laughs> so our main accomplishment was the weekly Wednesday Wire from September 12, 2018 to May 8th, which, or it's about this year, May 8th, obviously. And uh, basically, we filmed every Thursday, and we had to send it to staff, and we would show it every Wednesday. So this, wow, that was loud. So this is actually from our very first Wednesday Wire. Now, if you've seen our Wednesday Wires, you can tell that this is a very different kind of set than what we do now. So funny story with this, we were actually in the Clorox closet. For those of you who don't know what the Clorox closet, it is literally this teeny tiny closet that has like a mountain of Clorox wipes in it. Like it's no joke and there's no air conditioning. So shoving five teenagers and a staff member in there with a camera was a whole mess. But this was our very first Wednesday wire. And this one was from one of our April editions. Obviously you can see we increased the, qual in the quality. We even had a green screen, that is John and myself. We always had a little doohickey kind of in the middle of the screen that we would mess with and interact with one, one another. Almost all the seniors were interviewed for Senior Spotlight except those that didn't want to be interviewed and when I interviewed them, I asked them what their name were, what their name was, um, what did they do in their committee and what was the main focus of their committee. Here I was recording Ashley on the bottom um, for her Senior Spotlight and the top was a uh, me and Harrison. Hi, Harrison. <laughs> and also we did the Global Water Project, where, which we did a skit, and we just went around making skits and having like small little facts around there. Now you can see in these pictures, I am taking my character, Joey Kangaroo. He's an Australian who's trying to get the word out about the global water crisis. We basically, made, we basically made a documentary documenting all the presentations that, make, uh, that the advisories made throughout the week of global water awareness. Uh, this was to help the people know that there is a water crisis happening and this was shown at the Healthy Relationships uh, Water Crisis event, Global Water Crisis event. Now, with the accomplishments, besides from the normal Wednesday wires, we had special editions. Now, this was stuff like holidays, or we'd do a funny skit throughout the entire video, or we'd even have a special guest star. 
So, as you can see on the top left one, we have our Halloween special on Wednesday Wire. We gave it a bit more moodier lighting, we changed the color of the background, and we'll occasionally change the prop. Normally it'll be a photo of Eric, rest in peace. Uh, and in that one, as you can see, we have a pumpkin. This one, it's kind of hard to tell, but that's our Valentine's Day special for Wednesday Wire. John's holding a little teddy bear there. As for our special guest, we were very pleased to have Eric Garcia come back to the studio, see how uh, Wednesday Wire's been going as since he left, and we even got him on the show, as you can see with my surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Now, with Wednesday Wire, it involved a lot of covering school events. This involves stuff like sporting events, dances, or any other event that might the school have done. That was not English. The school might have done. So here are some quick pictures of the events that have been taken over this past year and this year as well. On the top left, we have the Valentine's Day dance. We have John dancing. On the top right, we have the great Apex color battle. And on the bottom left, we have prom night, which is a very fun. There was a lot of footage that's taken that we have taken. And the bottom right, bottom right was the town show. And in the middle, we t I have a picture of Ms. Parrish and Ms. Tordzik giving uh, root beer floats to the people who are uh, the perfect attendants. Now, besides Wednesday Wire, we tried to do something called the Film Fest that was premiered at the Performance Fair. Now, this didn't turn out as big as we liked, but we thought that it had a lot of heart, and it seemed that everyone who watched the videos had lots of fun. So, this picture is from one of the students' submitted videos. Um, it was called Parappa Egg, and the people who got to watch it really enjoyed it a lot. So now we have the hurdles, and the hurdles was kind of a, a weird, <laughs> was an interesting experience. Because we're a team of five, we had a lot of stuff going on. Four out of five of us are going to come, are th taking step up, and that took a lot of our time. And one of our main hurdles was creative block. Doing Wednesday Wire every week, we have to come up with something new and fresh that we can show through motion picture or through video. But finding that like creativeness is difficult. And through all five of us, we don't know what's new or what's fresh to to show. But we, we, we later got over this by putting in more skits that I come up with with the team. Sometimes I even do them during college, like make a little notepad, draw them in, in college, and we will show them in the next Wednesday Wire video. Another one was getting footage. This was a main problem in the first year, or the first half of the year, because we're all going to college or step up getting footage and finding the right time to go to events at school. Uh, not all of us were able to go, but during this half of the year of 2019, we had more events at school, so footage was easy to get, to get. And deadlines was another big problem for us. But we eventually got over it, and by making videos much faster and much quicker, and through the help of Sean and I uh, teaming up, it was much quicker and faster and adding more edits as possible. And then our main thing was senioritis. It affected us. We were like, devastated when we got this. Not to sound like a disease or anything. <laughs> but we were doing the same thing over and over again, as well as we didn't create a block. We just didn't really want to continue it. And doing this every morning and getting and recording every Thursday was very difficult. And we eventually got over this for after our <laughs> Senior trip, we'll get over it, but <laughs> getting over it. <laughs> Ooh. So, to get over it, <laughs> we just started having more fun with Wednesday Wire. We added more content. We tried to, um, we shortened the videos, 
making it more and editing faster. The future of the committee coming soon. So what we want for the next generation of the media committee is for them to create and hold more events relating to the committee. We really wanted to do a lot of stuff like the film festival, but due to our commitment to Wednesday Wire, it proved really difficult. So hopefully they will be able to get that out of the way and be able to hold more interesting events for the student body. And I hope you all get involved. And hopefully, of course, they'll continue Wednesday Wire, make it their own, increase the quality of it, and just have fun doing it. Because really, when we filmed Wednesday Wire, it never really felt like a project. We would just go into a little science lab, Krolak would help us set up, set up, and we would pretty much just goof around for most of the filming. Some final words. Some final words. <laughs> so, if I'm being honest, I didn't know uh, half my committee when I started this committee. And uh, I didn't like them, to be honest, but because I didn't know them. <laughs> but every Thursday, recording and having fun, I got to know them. And they're five amazing people, and I'm glad I met them. And they're my favorite uh, Wednesday wirers. So, um... When I first got into this committee, I honestly can't say I really knew what to expect, but as we kind of started growing throughout the year, um, it definitely got a lot easier to sort of, oof. it got a lot easier to sort of manage Wednesday Wire and really, uh, you can tell in the beginning, we were all like just really awkward, we didn't really know what we were doing. But as it went on, it got a lot more natural. You know, the jokes just started coming in on their own and everything. So for my final words, being in this committee just, how do you say Yeah. Okay. So being in this committee has brought me much information and much practice I need for my future as becoming a cinematographer, which I'm going to be studying in college next year. And by being in this group, I get to learn how to be in a team, because I, I, I'm i really shy. I just never want to talk to anyone. But being in this group and being like getting to go, getting to know them closely, uh, I, I started to like express more. I started even, I even, I even, I even showed up in some Wednesday wires, but like just for like 20 seconds. And it was like, like really changing for me because I'm never in front of the camera. I'm always behind recording. And some advice I would like to give is, you know, know more of your teammates or your committees because everything will be out, everything will continue to go smoothly. And also get some sleep. I, I, do, doing editing overnight is really bad for you, you know, sleeping. So I recommend getting a lot of sleep as possible. Along with getting to know your committee, uh, my advice for all the underclassmen is, when you get into your committees, try to let them, uh, try to be more vocal while you're in your committee. There was a lot of the time, especially at the beginning of the year, where someone in the committee, any of us, would have some, a problem with how Wednesday Wire is being produced, or with what role they were in, and they were kind of keeping it inside. But once they let it out, and we sat down and we talked to each other, we realize that we're not trying to hurt each other, we're just trying to get to the same goal at a, at a different path. And that's the part with being in a group project. You have to meet in the middle ground, and once we found that, the rest of the year flew by. And honestly, I wouldn't do it with any of the community. Definitely, like all of them said, I agree with all of it. I think we definitely had our struggles as a committee, just like anyone else did at the beginning of the year. We did have times where we argued, we weren't the best with communicating, but I do think that it actually led to us growing as a committee and getting a lot closer, which is also a piece of advice to all of you who are either juniors becoming seniors, or even if you're going to just at some point work in a group project. Sometimes there are issues, sometimes you guys do fight, but you just have to roll with the punches, you have to talk it out, and you have to work together, because in the end, it'll all come out for the best.
And of course, we have some special thanks. We want to thank not only our senior advisors, Ms. McIver and Ms. Mendez, but also all of our personal advisors for letting us run off during Thursdays to just go randomly film whatever it was, whether it was Wednesday Wire or something else. We also want to thank our lovely administration, such as Ms. Hope, Ms. Madsen, and Ms. Parrish, because every week they actually sat and watched Wednesday Wire and gave us feedback, and without them, obviously, Wednesday Wire would not have premiered each week. We, there we, go. we also want to thank Mr. Krolak. Mr. Krolak's one of the huge reasons that we ended up getting to increase quality of Wednesday Wire. He let us use his room and his equipment, so without him, Wednesday Wire would not nearly have been as good as what it was this year. Of course, we also want to thank our fellow seniors. Our main thing was with Wednesday Wire, we wanted to promote not only our other students, but also our fellow seniors. They always let us know if they were having a club meeting, if they were having an event, we would always try and have someone there to cover it. So we want to thank them for letting us be there and letting us report on their events. Of course, we want to thank the fans of Wednesday Wire, which was a lot of you guys. For those of you who sat every Wednesday morning and watched Wednesday Wire, to those of you who came up and told us how much you enjoyed it, we thank you because it was definitely something that drove us to keep continuing Wednesday Wire. And last, but certainly not least, we want to thank Eric Garcia. Without Eric having created Wednesday Wire last year, media committee would not exist this year. He gave us tips, he talked to us, and of course he was a great inspiration for us. But we have been your senior media committee. This has been our senior journey, and we thank you for coming with us on this. Signing off. Signing off. Yeah.